Dearly beloved, we meet here today in Port Jervis to witness a sacred ceremony, the union of Anthony Cerrone and Hilary O'Shea as husband and wife. With great reverence, we come to celebrate the love and devotion shared by these two children of God that stand before us. Today, we celebrate their shared commitment to a life of love and friendship. You've seen all my imperfections, felt me break beneath the weight, kiss the bruises on my shoulders away. Where would I be? Where would I be? Hillary and Tony to me are a quintessential example of the old maxim that opposites attract. And that while it's the little things in common that make a relationship interesting, it's the differences that make it enjoyable. Hillary is extroverted, vibrant, with an infectious warmth and an enveloping and whimsical sense of humor. She's the girl who wore fake glasses in her high school photo to look smarter for her pen application, who attempted to host a 30th birthday party in a Chipotle store, who sends glitter bombs as Christmas cards, the peer-elected social secretary at Sachs, the self-elected founding member of what she calls the fun person in the couple club. She has always worn her desires on her sleeve, and after elbowing aside some contenders for Tony our sophomore year, has never let go of her prize. Tony, in contrast, is introverted, considerate, action-oriented, fatherly, and loyal. He has, for many of us, long been a voice of reason, a planner, provider, and protector the orderer of late night pizza, the keeper of the purse of our fraternity, the sender of twice daily texts to Hillary's roommates in college, checking in on her whereabouts and well-being. He has always been someone who cares for and counsels those around him. Standing next to you till our days are through. Love is friendship caught fire. It is quiet, mutual confidence, sharing and forgiving. It is loyalty through good and bad times. It settles for less than perfection and makes allowances for human weaknesses. Love is content with the present, hopes for the future, and does not brood over the past. It is the day in and day out chronicles of irritations, problems, compromises, small disappointments, big victories, and working toward common goals. If you have love in your life, it can make up for a great many things you lack. If you do not have it, no matter what else there is, it is not enough.
Anthony and Hillary, we have heard your promises. We recognize and respect the vows you have made before each other. And by the power vested in me by the United Life Church and the state of New York, it is my honor, privilege, and delight to declare you husband and wife. Anthony, you may now kiss your bride.